So the first thing is to ensure that you have Visual Studio downloaded and installed. Uh, if you don't, you can go to the address here and click on the download and select Community 2022, which should be fine for what we need. Once you have downloaded and installed Visual Studio, you can then begin editing the code. Next, we will go to the BCAP mods page and click on the source link. This will take you to the GitHub page shown here. We can then click on code and download zip. Once it completes, copy the zip file to a folder where you can easily edit it. Unzip the file to its folder. Find the folder and open it. Then right click on the solution file and select open with Visual Studio. If we now open the aircraft info file from the right hand side, we can see the main file we will eventually need to edit. However, first we must change all the basic naming and file settings. To do this, we go to the project menu and select the properties option. In here, we will need to edit the assembly name and default space name. Replace the Tager suffix with the name of your vehicle. Copy the namespace name to paste later. Now do a find and replace by pressing Ctrl and F, then click on the twisty here. Make sure the dialog says entire solution. Paste the namespace into the replace field, then copy and paste the current namespace into the find box. Then click the replace all button, it should replace seven items. So one thing you will need to do is fix the references. Here you can see mine all work correctly, as there are no red highlights. Yours will likely not work and will have lots of red lines. Even if it doesn't, uh, I recommend doing this first. Come over to the right hand side and click on references, select them all and delete them.
Then once you have done this, it should definitely show all the missing references. Thus will show many red highlights in the code. Next right click on references and add references. From here it will bring up a dialog box. Click browse. You then need to find your VTOL VR folder and click on the managed folder. In here you can select all the DLL files and add them. If this doesn't work like you can see here, none get added. You may have to do them a few at a time. Occasionally you may get a warning about adding the same file. Ignore and carry on adding all the DLL files. Once you have done all of these, you should be able to see that the majority of the red errors have disappeared. The last thing to do is to add a reference by going into the mod loader folder and selecting the mod loader DLL. As you can see, all the errors are now resolved. If we now build the DOL, we can see it succeeds. The next thing we need to do is to do a find a replace on the Tejas name, replacing it with the name of your vehicle. There should be around 130 replacements. Finally, we need to fix the names in the aircraft info file. The Harmony patch name should be fine if you did the name replacement. To find the correct names, we can open our Unity project. Uh, first up, we need the name of our vehicle prefab. This is the name that appears in the window at the bottom here.
we put that into the appropriate variable here. Next, we need to give it the name of the asset bundle we created. Then finally, we need to scroll down the prefab components at the main level and find the vehicle name field on the external vehicle info component. That replaces the vehicle name as so. If we now click Save, then select Build and Build Solution, it should complete successfully. If we right click on the name of the file and show the containing folder, we can then navigate back to the folder up and then into the bin folder, then debug. If you sort by modified, you can see it has created the new DLL file. This is the file that will be used to implement the new vehicle. For now, we can leave that there whilst we go back to do more work on our new aircraft.